you. We gather this afternoon before our nation's capital to call for an end to the spying and an end to the lying. Twelve years ago, America's leaders made a fateful choice to attack Iraq, a nation which did not have anything to do with 9-11. We wreaked vengeance against innocent bystanders, over a million innocent Iraqis dead, thousands of our troops dead, tens of thousands of our soldiers injured, trillions of dollars added in national debt. The never-ending so-called war on terror is a war of errors and misdeeds which produced a Patriot Act, a bill I voted against because I read it. The Patriot Act, the Patriot Act gave rebirth to the National Security Agency as a technological cyclops. The NSA grows stronger as it collects more of our personal information. The U.S. Constitution grows weaker. Today we gather to restore our freedoms, reclaim the Constitution, repeal the Patriot Act, yeah. and abolish the NSA! Yeah. We gather today not as partisans, but as Americans. We know the monstrous national security state is the product not of a single party, but of a system of government, which today bears no resemblance to the lofty goals of America's founders. Yeah. This system has produced policies which are a concoction of lies which have fooled no one, lies which took us into Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, Lies which put drone over the skies in many countries. Lies which tell us that in the name of security we must give up our liberty. The state has become like a leviathan, unaccountable to anyone, slaying dragons abroad while crushing individual rights and freedoms here at home. As the government claims falsely to be fighting for democracy abroad, we are truly losing our democracy here at home, and that is not acceptable. In the name of security, the state has become a big brother metadata collector, which has appropriated our private space. In the name of security, the state opens our email. We say, stop the mass spying. In the name of security, the state downloads our contacts and our photos. We say, stop the mass spying. In the name of security, the state monitors our phone calls. We say, stop the mass spying. In the name of security, the state checks our financial records. We say, stop the mass spying. Now some will say, we willingly give up our privacy when we join social networks. Bullshit. <laughs> say that? Bullshit! We say we reject the right of the state to troll and call from social networks or any social space without warrant. We reject the right of the state in the name of security to make everyone a suspect no one a free citizen in an Orwellian surveillance society. We know the truth. We have to be protected from such a state, not by it. That's right. yeah. The national security state is government as a racket, an NSA-driven protection racket, which extracts mil billions of dollars every year from taxpayers with a promise to protect us. Yeah. What we get instead of protection are drones and extrajudicial killings of civilians around the world. What we get is the destruction of friendships abroad, collecting information on hundreds of millions of people, including leaders we call our friends. The NSA appears to have gone rogue, but it has not. It is a direct reflection of what our own government has become a threat to freedom at home and abroad. We call on our friends in the international community 
to understand that there are many Americans who object to the mass collection of private information in Germany, France, Mexico, Brazil, and other countries. We insist on freedom and privacy in solidarity with our friends in Germany. We say, we're bestin of Freiheit und Privatsphäre. And we insist on freedom and privacy in solidarity with our friends in France. We say, nous on stone sur la liberté en la vie privée. We insist on freedom and privacy in solidarity with our friends in Mexico and throughout the Spanish-speaking world. We say, insistemos en que la libertad y la privacidad in solidarity with our friends in Brazil. We say, insistimos in libertade y privacidade. We insist on freedom and privacy. The state, the state has made this equation. Security or liberty, take your pick. You don't have to pick. Listen to Benjamin Franklin's well-known admonition. In 1755, he said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither, neither. liberty nor safety. Right. Today, in 2013, faced with a choice from a government which moves without morality, without respect for liberty or law, yeah. here or abroad, without adherence to the Constitution, let us declare that we have made the choice and we choose liberty. Yeah. We choose liberty over a national security state. Yeah. We choose liberty over threats. Yeah. We choose liberty over fear. Yeah. We choose liberty over suspicion. Yeah. We choose liberty. We demand the protection of our First Amendment rights. We demand freedom of association. We demand freedom of speech. We demand freedom of press. We demand the protection of our Fourth Amendment rights. We demand the right to be free from unreasonable search and seizure. We assert, we assert, and we demand a right to privacy. Yeah. We want the government out of our bedrooms, off of our phones, out of our email, out of our contacts. We want the government out of our reading lists, our personal finances, out of our education records. We want the government to stop wasting our money trying to prove that they are protecting us. Yeah. In 1775, Patrick Henry said, give me liberty or give me death. In 2013, we demand life and liberty. We claim life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness as our rightful inheritance as Americans. <laughs> this was the promise of the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men and women, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That when any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of people to alter, or to abolish it, and to institute new government. If these words written by Thomas Jefferson sound radical today, it is because the U.S. government has journeyed far from the spirit of July the 4th, 1776, which was a spirit not just of revolution, but an evolution of an awareness that the very legitimacy of the state depended upon the support of the natural rights of its citizens. We are here to reawaken that spirit, to rekindle that awareness, we are here to demand the repeal of the Patriot Act yeah. and the shutting down Woo. of the NSA. Yes. Yeah. We choose 
liberty. There is no middle ground between the tyranny of the state and the rights of a free people. We demand that our government focus on real security issues at home. The security of a job. The security of an education. The security of health care for all. The security of retirement. The security of housing. The security of our neighborhoods. The security of investments. The security of, full, of small businesses. This is real security. We're prepared to take back our government. Are we prepared to take back? We will take it back from unresponsive political parties. We will take it back from an administration which mocks the Constitution. We will take it back from a Congress which gave away our rights in a panic. We will take it back from corporations which collude with the government to destroy our rights. We are ready to engage. We are prepared to recommit ourselves, right. as did the original patriots so many years ago, to mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, our sacred honor. Hear the call of history to a new generation of Americans to relight the lamp of liberty. Hear the call of destiny that it is for us to reclaim America. Let us do it with a passion for truth. Let us do it with a passion for justice. Let us do it with a passion for freedom. Let us do it with relentless commitment. Let us declare an unbreakable unity. And let us prepare for the arduous task of fully restoring our constitutional freedoms, our rights in this the land we love. Thank you. Thank you very much.